What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Mass360 YouTube video. We appreciate you stopping by and checking us out. Let us know in the comment section below any questions you have around how to better manage and secure your devices, your endpoints within your environment. And we will make videos about those topics, those questions on the Mass360 YouTube channel. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified on a weekly basis when we post new content to this channel. In today's video, we're focusing on a big issue that a lot of my clients in the past, before they were using Mass360, new clients looking into MDM solutions, encounter when managing and securing iOS devices, corporate issued iOS devices. And that is activation lock. Activation lock is that hellscape when an employee either leaves the organization, is fired, quits and moves on. They turn their corporate issued iPhone in to the IT department. Unfortunately, they were using their personal Apple iTunes password and username on that phone. They didn't let the IT team know what their user and password was. So that iPhone is essentially a thousand dollar brick sitting on the desk. And the only way to get it unlocked is to either call up Apple support, which takes hours. We all know that or physically go to an Apple store, which also takes hours because those Apple stores, as we all know, are always packed and jammed and it takes a lot of time to get with somebody to get some help. That's the only way to get these unlocked, unless you're utilizing Mass360. With Mass360 in conjunction with Apple Business Manager DEP device enrollment program, activation lock will never ever be an issue again. Let me pop into the portal. You should be able to see my screen here. Let's pop into policies. We're gonna go to an iOS policy. Okay, before I continue here with this short demonstration of activation lock, for devices, for your iOS devices to have the ability or for you to have the ability to never have to deal with activation lock again, those devices have to be, there's no if, ends, buts about it, they have to be enrolled in Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager. And what that program does right now, let's say, for example, this iPhone that I'm holding in my hand is not enrolled in Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager, and Mass360. This iPhone, it thinks it's a consumer asset. It's Matt's phone, it's Coral's phone, it's Molly's phone. What that program does, DEP Apple Business Manager, is it says, no phone. You do not, do not belong to Matt, Molly, Carl. You belong to XYZ Corporation. And because you belong to XYZ Corporation, the level of control and security you have over that iPhone, that iOS device, is much stronger. The options are much faster. Master, that's not even a word. Much stronger, excuse me. So you need to get these devices enrolled in Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager to have that level of control and security. You really need and want over the device. If you don't, you will not have the ability to block activation lock on the phones. If phones are already deployed out in the field, this is where I tend to get some pushback from prospective clients. If the devices are already deployed out in the field, and they're not enrolled in DEP. The only way to get them enrolled in DEP and Mass360 is to bring them in and factory reset those devices. I know what you're thinking. It's probably a pain in the neck. Sometimes it is, right? When clients have thousands and thousands and thousands of devices, when they have large projects, it does take time, but it's always our recommendation to get those devices enrolled in DEP Apple Business Manager in conjunction with Mass360 to again, have that level of security and control you really need and want, because this is a corporate device. This is not a BYOD device. There are workarounds. You can enroll that device the same way you would enroll a BYOD device, push down a static URL, follow the prompts. You're gonna have some level of control, but you won't be able to block and eliminate that hellscape, that issue of activation lock. When you have the device successfully enrolled, in supervised mode, DEP, Apple Business Manager, and Mass360, 
you're going to have this option here under policy and iOS policy for supervised settings. And right here, allow activation lock. As long as that policy configuration here is unchecked and the device is enrolled in DEP and Mass360, you're never ever going to have to go to an Apple store or call Apple support to get those devices unlocked. Once that employee turns the phone in, you're handing it off to the next employee. It's not sitting on your desk as a thousand dollar brick. If anything needs further clarification, Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager, how to prevent activation lock, the reasons why you need to, when you're managing corporation devices, you need to get these devices enrolled in DEP Apple Business Manager. Let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to hop on a short call or exchange some emails to explain or make a further video to better explain this process. Because again, it's always my recommendation to my clients. You need to get these corporation devices enrolled in DEP Apple Business Manager right now. This phone isn't, it thinks it's a consumer asset, but it's in DEP. It's not a consumer asset. It belongs to XYZ organization. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe, and look out for these videos on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.